Hi, and welcome to Two Ordinary Nerds. I don't even think I could do that voice, no. actually. That fucked up. Oh, well. Hi, guys, and welcome to Two Ordinary Nerds. You know, it's a podcast where two ordinary nerds talk about nerdy things. I am joined today by Daniel, my co-host. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. That was a pretty good intro. It was. I'm still going to leave that Trump bit in there a little bit, just so people know how bad I... Impersonator you are? Yeah. Uh, what are we going to talk about this week? What are you drinking on? But I want to talk about what week this week because then we're going to talk about our beers. Fine. All right. I, we're going to talk about shows that we're watching that we haven't really touched on. We've touched on the major shows that we watch, um, but we haven't touched on the shows that we watch that we like that we don't really care as much about. No, no, it sounds, sounds like a fun conversation. You got a list? I got a list. And then stay tuned later because we have an announcement for a new segment we're going to do. Uh-huh. Um, we are going to touch penises. I mean, no, we're just, never mind. We're, we're going to touch on that subject. Not exactly. penises, but <laughs> what are you drinking on? I'm having a uh, Stella Artois. It's a uh, Belgian beer. It's, it's good. It's light. I like it. It's one of my beers that I like to enjoy when... Yeah, so that'd be like a it's a good stuff. beard. It's smooth. It's not heavy. It's... What are you drinking? I'm drinking on a Founders All Day IPA. I, as you well know, have been sick with pneumonia, so I haven't been able to drink for like two weeks. Now, it's the first time I've had a beer in, in a couple weeks, so I'm like, oh man, I really want an IPA. And of course, we like to try new beers here. Uh, you liking it? Yeah, it's really good. It's a nice IPA. I have you ever had a Founders beer? Or this is the I've first? had a Founders beer before, but yeah, not. I haven't had that one. So yeah, it's a decent flavored beer. I mean, there's. I wouldn't say anything special. It's definitely not like Stone IPA. I so would. it's just a regular IPA. Yeah. Would you buy it again? Oh yeah, yeah, it's got a good flavor. It's How many probably, beers do you think you can, you're going to rate this? I give it three. Three? I'd give mine four. I like mine quite a bit. I'd give Stella four. Stella's delicious. Mm-hmm. All right. All well, right. Uh, so let's let's be, let's talk about bench watching our next shows. I was gonna say just uh, just like our TVs, let's go back through our DVR and start play. Exactly. First off, I thought it'd be fun to, you know, because I don't know a lot about the show. I mean, I know, obviously, about the lore, but I figured, since I know it's one of the shows that you watch, you could start us off with Arrow. And Arrow's a, it's a CW, I think it is. It's a CW show. It's about Green Arrow, who doesn't know him as the DC comic of Green Arrow. The guy's called Oliver Stone, and it follows, the, the first seasons follow the beginning of the of a show and it's in the DC universe so there is a Gotham City there is a metropolis there is different and there is different cities where like for example Flash lives which will eventually join hands but basically yeah it's um, it's about Arrow how his beginning starts and that's season one and how it goes on and become he becomes an Arrow the beginning he's pretty dark he has no problem killing people but as the show progresses, he becomes more noble and tries to avoid killing as much as he can. A lot of people criticize it because a lot of the stories are the Batman stories. There's, you know, Ra's al Ghul. Yes, yeah, so I know that Ra's al Ghul because... Use him, as, wants him to be his successor. Mm-hmm. The same as Batman in the comics and in most shows. Uh, there's a good tie-ins with Flash. That's another show that I that I watch that basically goes is the show about you know about and Barry Allen. One episode I I did I've seen a few episodes and the one episode I purposely recorded was the episode where Constantine is in there. Uh huh. I really I missed that show. Constantine was awesome. So that you know, so it's, all the universes are connected. Flash universes are connected. Flash and the Supergirl. I haven't seen Supergirl. And I can't really point, uh, and I can't tell you too much about it, but they're 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 all there. And although I think a uh, a uh, Supergirl was in a different dimension, and Flash runs through uh, runs through it and gets to Supergirl's mm-hmm. universe. And I think they every once in a while, or they bring Supergirl to them to their universe to help them, or something does happen. But there, and from this TV show, it really, it, I think it was. A Flash, Supergirl. There's another show about the future to, or the, the futures of tomorrow. Heroes yeah. of tomorrow. So and you know it's 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 a good show. I mean, 
it's one of those shows that you will have fun. It's watching it. It's the, it's not the best show ever. There, it's 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 not consistent of being good. And it all depends in, in the episode. But some episodes are great, some episodes are garbage, and most episodes are enjoyable. Mm-hmm. So I, 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 you know, I would say anybody watch it. It's you know, it's a Netflix. You can binge watch it. It's an easy show to watch. You don't you don't need to pay too much attention. It's PG thirteen, I think, friendly. Is it like Agents of Shield kind of? Yeah, sort of. Yeah, it's kind of Agents of Shield. It's a fun show. It really is. I, I enjoy it. I enjoy watching it. I enjoy Flash a little bit more. I'm not sure why. Flash is a little bit more kid friendly than the Arrow, but I just that's because you're a child. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and, and I and I Flash is one of my favorite DC one uh, DC ones. And of course, the Batman is not hasn't shown, but they do talk about Gotham, and they do talk and they. So I wonder if they'll ever show Batman, but I feel like if they ever do, it would be too late you know what I mean because Arrow's already almost in like seven or, or what season six now uh, it's pretty season. far in but I mean I, I can see it that'd be cool if they I did. can see it but I think DC would never allow it because that's their staple but they showed Superman and Supergirl so I could I, I mean they could show with Batman yeah. I mean or at least I don't know I'll, I'll rather have Batman if Batman shows up I will it will really pique my attention and yes watch this in a day to day basis but here I normally wait until there's you know half a season and then I bench watch them yeah, and the, half a season left and then I bench watch them well that's a good tie in because I do the same thing with another DC show called Gotham I really mm-hmm. like that show the first season was good second season was meh I yeah. like Gotham Gotham was a good show it, it's well, the a, first season was great the first season was really good this season has been really good they've really ramped up the storytelling and the Joker's back yeah the, I haven't seen the newer ep- the last three episodes but I did really like the twist that they did with Alice in Wonderland basically mm-hmm. and that was really cool I really liked the Mad Hatter he was awesome that character just the, the guy from Walking Dead he was one of the whispers he plays the Mad Hatter which is obviously it's a loosely played off of the uh, Alice in Wonderland story although I think it might be an actual story in DC Comics. I don't know because I'm not huge on DC Comics. But the matter, yeah, yeah. he's a villain. Okay, but yeah, it, it was really good, and I really like the. Tw- I really like how they use James Gordon as the character ver- versus Bruce a lot. I like how James Gordon's the centerpiece <laughs> of it, which is really neat. And I do like how they have all a lot of the villains in there that. Are later in Batman's Batman lore, but they use them in a longer, younger sense. Yeah, they're like Catwoman is a younger girl. Mm-hmm. Poison Ivy grow. Uh, she grows a lot since. Oh her. yeah, she's really good. Yeah, I, I have mixed feelings when that happened because she's supposed to be a little girl, and all of a sudden she's fucking hot. Yeah, and she's like a twenty-five year old, and you're like, there's a part of my brain that still <laughs> thinks like she's supposed to be like twelve, yeah, or fourteen. Uh, Catwoman does a great job, and. Bruce Wayne does a good job. The Joker does a good job. All of them do like a great job as villains. Bruce Wayne does a good job, but sometimes he's a pussy. <laughs> yeah, I think, but I think I it's think supposed it, to be like a different universe. I don't think it's supposed to be like the the Batman that we know and love. You I don't? Think. No, because yeah. there's a, a the rude. Joker is, should be created by Batman, mm-hmm. and all those people start coming out. All those villains start coming out. When Batman shows up, he was the first one, and a lot of people in, in saying, in, you know, tell that because he let that, you know, yeah, can portrayal or he put that mantle on and made it everybody else be able to do it. Mm-hmm. Because, and I, li- I do like the tra- the owls, how the owls are there. There's um, it's one of my favorite books of Batman. Are you talking about the Court of Owls? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, I knew what you're talking. Yeah, the the like the really rich people. Mm-hmm. I like the their uh, their assassin guy that they had in there this season. Mm-hmm. He was really neat. Um, is it Falcon? What is it? I think it's it's not Falcon, but it's a it's a bird. Mm-hmm. It's a bird of prey. Man, I just wondering when it's if Gordon needs to have a daughter to make a who becomes a Batgirl and then becomes the Oracle. But that's. I don't know if they're ever because he doesn't have a kid yet. But she she should she she should be. He's gonna have to get hitched eventually and have a kid. Mm-hmm. But so will you? Do you also rec- so you always also watch it in, in chunks? 
Yeah, um, Gotham, I usually, like right now, I know that they just went on winter break after these last three episodes, so I'll just watch these, and then when it comes back in April, I'll be ready. I'm already, I'm caught up except for the last three, uh, you know, arc. But yeah, that show I don't really watch on time because I lose interest if I watch episode by episode. It's kind of, I don't know, I feel like it would be a good Netflix show because episode by episode, if you know the story arc, it's good. But if you, and you watch it, like binge watch it, but if you watch one episode, it just sometimes, it's kind of like Walking Dead at times, how it takes so, like this season, how it took so fucking long to get to the end of the season. And you're like, Jesus, we don't need to have each individual episode focusing on this part. Why don't we just make it move a little quicker? Uh-huh. So I feel like watching it in a clump entices me more. So I do love the show. I just prefer to watch it. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I show that I, even though it's not the nerd, it's not a nerdy show, show, but I definitely recommend it when you watch it. Especially you, because you're also a history buff like me. It's called The Crown. It's a Netflix show. Yeah, we're... You've seen it? We've talked about it. Okay. That's... The Crown is amazing. There's going to be eight seasons. Oh, wow. Uh, there's going to be, eight, uh, I believe, yeah, they said, or maybe it's five to eight seasons. I don't remember which what it was. But after next season, so after the season that comes out at the end of this year, 2017, they're thinking about switching the two main actors. So the, the lady who plays the queen and Matt Smith... So Claire is her name is Claire Fo- Claire Foy okay. and Matt Smith. They're so, gonna switch them. Yeah, because obviously progressing with in age. So they they said they might, but based off ratings, they said there's a chance that they just keep those. I really hope they keep those actors because they both do a phenomenal job. I have to say my favorite one in this show is John and Lithgow. Lithgow. Oh yeah, the guy who plays Churchill. Church, he does a great job, and if you're people who don't know him, he uh, don't recognize his name. Thirty Rock from he the does, Sun. Yeah, he does Thirty Rock from the Sun. He's the dad of Thirty Rock. He was the best villain by in far Dexter. in Dexter. So, so he's a B. What was his name in there? It was the BTK killer or something like not BTK. Oh, in Dexter, I don't remember. Yeah, he was he was the 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 main villain in the in the fourth season. Most people know who John Lithgow is. Mm-hmm. He's pretty famous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, on the Crown. Show it talks about the first uh, years of ruling of Queen Elizabeth, the second, the royal monarch mm-hmm. of England. It's it's a good show. It shows like the human nature of Queen Elizabeth, not so much portrayed by the, the history books or the paparazzi. So it's not enjoyable. It doesn't look like it's something I want to be like. You know, a lot of people that aren't, for instance. There's some people in the United States that would be like, man, I would love to be the president. That's like the best job. Or, you know, obviously people in England would probably, some people would be like, oh, I want to be the queen. But if you watch that show, even though it's loosely based off real life, that's still a shitty fucking life. I mean, everything main that happens in that in that show is real that happened. Yeah, like, like you her cannot love, princess. You cannot love who you want to love. You it's cannot marry who you want to marry. Bullshit, man. But the same as the president. The president everybody thinks it's easy, but it's not easy. Mm-hmm. You have to make decisions. Like imagine having like president is it Truman, the one that had the, the first president who had the nuclear bombs? Yeah, he had the he had the hydrogen bomb we have basically Yes he, imagine being the first human being in a history having that weapon. And people are saying use it, use it, use it. Well he took over because FDR died and he mm-hmm. he was um, he was the vice president so he took over and they were about to do another D-Day on Tokyo and instead they decided to go with the out of yeah, but just, just, just imagine like the, the consciousness so being, it, it shows that like like the sacrifices of these yeah. people made and how in this case this girl did not run for it she her parent her dad did not was not supposed to be king and so it's a good show. Anybody who doesn't know about the uh, the history of Queen Elizabeth, I never watch it. it. I never knew anything about it, so you learn a lot from she, it. Yeah, I knew that she was a mechanic in war, but yeah, I, don't, I, knew that. I don't think they talk about it in the show. No, they don't talk about World War Two much. But yeah. yeah, that's a great show. Since we're on Netflix shows, uh, why don't we... Uh, Go for Frontier? Let's talk about it. Have you seen it? Yeah, I have seen Frontier. I watched... I haven't seen all the episodes. I'm in... Is there eight episodes? I think I'm in the seventh. I watched it when I was sick. I finished. I what episode? I think one there. I just need one more. I'm missing the finale. Okay. Yeah, that's a good show. I mean, it's. I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. I, it's definitely a little different than what I was anticipating, 
but I feel like after I think the next season it'll pick up and be different because of kind of the twists that have happened at the end of this season. You so know, the, the last episode is worthy to watch. Yeah, the last because I episode, watched I watched the like a, a good ones and it's it's about and this before we start talking frontier is about this English boy who and his and his girlfriend and buddy were in a we're gonna try to uh, steal some pa- some gunpowder. They get caught and the buddy dies. They capture the the the, the, uh, the girlfriend and he basically hides in the boat. When he gets caught, he's middle of the ocean. Going to a, I think England or a, England, a, sorry, a United States or they're Canada. Going, uh, they're going to the states. They're going to the states. Yeah. So he goes. To, they're going to the states, and the captain of the ship basically hi- hires him by basically by force, telling him he needs to find this guy who's basically Jason is Jason Momoa, Call Drogo, Call Drogo, and he needs to report to him. So when he gets there. He meets this guy, more or less fell, falls in with his charm and starts working for him. The overall picture of the show is about the fur trade back in the early 1700s. No, 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 no this is in the 1800s, right? No. This is before they were... No, yeah, this is the 1700s, um, before the Revolutionary War. Um, but yeah, it's basically kind of like the fur trade. If you've seen uh, The Revenant with Leo, mm-hmm. it, it's based... Kind of like that, because back then they made a lot of money in the fur trade, and there's the French. This is before the French and Indian War, also. Yeah, so it's 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 the, it's a show about that about fur trade, you know, revenge and planning and trying to get everything together. Good things that I liked about it is the fucking teeth, the yellow teeth that everybody has. Oh yeah, it's realistic. Uh huh. They don't like. It's kind of weird because their their teeth are fucked up. They're mm-hmm. like yellowish. Because, you know, back in the day, they didn't have good hygiene. Yeah, my and girlfriend was like, why are there... Because she came over the first night I was sick, and she's like, why are their teeth all messed up? I'm like, because it's realistic. They're portraying it. You know, they don't have... Well, except Call Drogo. Call Drogo always just... Obviously, Call Drogo. I mean... Was, he is. He's just amazing. But I didn't enjoy the show as much. I mean, it's not a bad show. It's just, I did not enjoy it as much. I like the crown much. more. Yeah. As much as I, I enjoy others. This yeah. show is... It's slow. I think it's a slow-paced show. Yeah. I mean, there's some, some part of action, but the action does not make... Does not come... That is not as good as for all that weight. So you're waiting for this something to happen. And when it happens, I was more or less let down of... It really was like a two-minute fight and you're done. They could have done better with picking some of the actors. So Dumbledore does a good job that he plays the main villain. Is that Dumbledore? Yeah, that's Dumbledore. Huh. But I think that his captain or whatever that does kind of his bidding, that guy just... The red coat? Yeah, he reminds me of uh, Aiden Christensen or whatever. He's just... I don't like him. I wasn't sure if he portrays a douche really well or he's just a douche. I think he's just a douche, honestly. <laughs> but and it's... it's when, You know how there's like Joffrey that like you can... You can tell that he he's, he betrayed, a good, he's a good fucking douche, like actor. Yeah. But he's a good mortal. So he, he can be a good person. This guy's... Just kind of a douche. Yeah, he, he, but I mean, it could be he could be fucking charming. He could and, be, and then we can change our opinion. But for now, when I was watching it, I was thinking about it. I was like, I'm not sure if he's a fucking douche. In every real t- life. Every or- time he came on the screen, I was like, man, I don't want to fucking watch this. <laughs> I don't like this guy. Yeah, I did not like. I love the Native American lady. Yeah, girl. she's cool. The redhead lady was okay. Ah, I don't like. I was tr- I was in love with the blonde. That blonde was hot as hell. What blonde? The, the blonde one? with the tatas? Oh, yeah. I thought you were talking about the Irish guy's girlfriend. Nah, I'm like, it. she's annoying. Yeah, I want to stay here with the British. Even the, uh, the Irish kid. Wow. The Irish kid was kind of... I just feel like they got a lot of cheap actors for this show. And obviously, their staple points are the main... Uh, so the, the villain... The Native American, her, na- her name is Jessica Maiden. And I thought she did... I think the Native Americans did a, uh, a really good job. Oh, yeah. I think it was good that they have Native Americans, although her name is Jessica Maiden, so I'm not really sure if she is or not. Some of those are. Um, one of the guys that was in his his group uh-huh. that died in, in one of the first episodes, he's been in another show that I watched with Jason Momoa that got canceled uh, last year. It was called The Red Road. It's a phenomenal show. It's on Netflix if anybody wants to check that out. But it's a uh, it's about a Native America 
Native American tribe in normal in modern times. It has yeah, it's it's really good. But they 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 were all in there together except for the the Native American girl. She wasn't in there, but she I guess she is a multi ethnic descent mixed with Medes and Sakatu Creek. I'm not I'm pretty I'm, I'm killing these Native American names, but it's Metis Metis and Salanux Cree. But she also has Ukrainian, Chinese, hmm. French, and British heritage. So hmm. she's a multicultural descent, which is kind of nice. But I think it was kind of nice that refreshing that they have Native Americans in there. They, I think it was a good way that they also uh, represented them as, as a peaceful people, and you know, and actually had some smarts. And they're not; they don't portray them as savages or idiots who yeah. do not know what they're doing. Where the white man has to come in and save them. Yep. Although it's kind of fucked up that Mary Momoa is the white guy who's technically saving them but he's in the show he's half he's half Native American and half Irish isn't he yeah but I mean he, and you're, yeah he is Native in real life oh, he's American Native American mm-hmm. I, I thought so. he was like well, he's Samoan and Native American oh. well that's good so it's good that they just put, use actual characters it's good that they try to be as you know. I want to hang out with that dude man I love his Instagram videos of when he was training for the for Frontier and he's Throwing just the sitting ass. there drinking Guinness and throwing axes I'm like oh, I want to hang out with that guy um, what shows are that you're watching about the film and deer? Well, I was going to say, before I go on to stuff that I've watched versus you haven't, I was going to say, uh, we do watch a show called Taboo. I watched the first episode. Oh, have you not watched it anymore? No. It's still really fucking weird, man. Like, I'm, really, really weird. It. I haven't recorded it. He doesn't need that. Need it has a... Not, it deals with a lot of, like, like a, he has some weird... Supernatural ability or something, I don't know, but it, it's to be coming in like you a need fantasy? to go. You need to go into it with an open mind. <laughs> it's not. I wouldn't say it's a fantasy. It still still deals with like Victorian politics, and politics and culture. England and yeah, but it, it's very very weird. And another show that I I love that it's on its last season. So if you can, I would recommend checking it out. Is Black Sails. I it's a sh- if anybody's ever read the book Treasure Island, it's a show loosely based off of that, and it's a prequel to Treasure Island. Before then, they they have a lot of the act- real pirates that were in in history mm-hmm. in Nassau. So they have they have Blackbeard. We do have Blackbeard. Are there, are there, just for curiosity, are the Spaniards involved at all? Oh, yeah, just Spain, Spain has a huge part in that show. Is the, are we portrayed as the assholes and the bad people? No, England's the assholes. And Spain is the... Spain's just the people that we they steal gold from. Oh. The pirates, yeah, it, it's a phenomenal show. Like well, the, we stole well, it from somebody else. <laughs> in history, they, you know, it's... In history, the pirates, what was kind of the turning point was stealing the gold from the... From Spain. And give it to England. And then England came and tried to take Nassau back. And then there was just basically vengeance on pirates. And they took a lot of them out. And so you have Blackbeard's in there because he was in real life. And then he and then Woods Rogers is a... He's the mayor of the town. He was, he so was what, real what life. What is it about? What's basically about? There's it's a pirate basically life. pirate life and... Loosely based off real life, because Treasure Island takes part after all of that, and so so they're, are they they're searching on, for a treasure. They are tr- searching to they're steal searching, gold. They're searching for treasure in Treasure Island, but in this, so the first season's about getting getting the gold from this from Spain, uh-huh. and then everything. So the second season is kind of where to. Where they have, where to put the gold? Who has the gold? Then a bunch of politics and more fighting. And then at the end of that season starts basically Captain Flint's. Flint is a fictional character that's in Treasure Island, and the it's basically follows him around. But he uh, at the end of season two something happens and that sparks this just undying How pirate many seasons rage. Are there? There's this is the fourth season, the fourth and final season. Yeah, so the, the fourth hasn't come out yet. That started last. Can years. you been watch it, or is it something you need to like uh, buy DVDs, or is it in? Well, you can't. I mean, it's in you, Netflix or Amazon Prime. No, I mean, if you have it on, if you have stars, you could probably binge watch it on that. But other than right. that, it's not on anything else. But I, it's a phenomenal show. I'd recommend anyone 
to watch it because the fight scenes are amazing. They build full size ships for the show, mm-hmm. um, so the sets are amazing. Oh, they build like the they yeah. really build ships. The oh. girls are really hot. There's a girl who plays Jamaican in there, and she is just gorgeous. But yeah, yeah, it would give that show. Obviously, I have a guilty pleasure pleasure of watching uh, the show called. Uh, Homicide Hunter with Joe Kenda. It's about a guy who I've never hot, heard of this. Yeah, it's a, it's just a criminal show. That's basically a, a Joe Kenda is a detective, or he's a homicide detective in Colorado from the seventies until like the early two thousands. And in his time as a homicide detective, he he solved over three hundred homicides, which is amazing to solve that many homicides. Usually, you know, a lot of them go. Under the wind, uh-huh. or back then they did. Uh, so yeah, he. It, it's interesting because it's all real life. I mean, it's just a detective show that, like, on True to TV. But so uh, mm-hmm. you got any other shows that you want to talk about? I watched uh, one. I recommend everybody watching is Mr. Robot. I've heard that show is really good. But I, you probably gonna watch it, so I'm gonna kind of keep it. Uh, uh, so I'm just going to basically tell you what's the basically the first episode. So the, the first episode, and you can more or less get this story is this uh, and this kid that doesn't he has a hard time expressing himself and hard time mm-hmm. communicating with others. He's a IT guy, cyber cybersecurity works for this company, and he's basically a genius and and you know in IT and hacking, and he basically tries to. Anybody who's like he, who he likes, he you know he hacks people who are in their lives to make sure everything is fine. But the show consists of him hacking companies and trying to walk well, like an evil company and try to evil corp and try to bring them down using hacking. But here's the twist: he works for them. <laughs> so it's kind of like, it makes me think of Fight Club. Uh, uh yeah, imagine Fight Club with a weird. Egocentric, uh, who you know who doesn't like to socialize a lot. Mm. Who only has like basically a couple friends. You know, and he's a genius hiking guy. Be trying to break this type of school. Hmm. I'll have to check that out. I've heard it's really good. Mm-hmm. It's almost it done with the set for its second season, or mm-hmm. yeah. So I'll probably wait. Well, never mind. I have a way of watching that show. Yeah, like I get all DVR. You can you can see it. Yeah. I, there's a show I watch. Um, it's called Outsiders. It's on WGN. It's basically about these this hillbilly group oh, yeah. that's in the Appalachian Mountains. Somehow they their their mountain is spiritual, and obviously there's the normal story of the cold people are trying to come in and take the mountain from them, and somehow no one can take the mountain from these people because there's some spiritual stuff on on the mountain, and it's. There's what some is, of sci-fi twist in there, but not really. It's more so just their belief that the mountain is spiritual. And, but yeah, it's really good. There's, I mean, the conflict between the people in the mountain versus the people in the city, because sometimes the people in the mountain go down in the city, and they think of them, they're called ferals. So they're like, man, you guys are you know, really weird. You know, Obviously, they're, they don't know. They haven't gone to school, so they're not... They're smart in some areas, but they're not really that smart. I mean, it's a good show. Um, I, saw, I saw the show, so it looks interesting. I never... I thought it was a history channel. So. No. It's not bad. I mean, I definitely... It's another one like Gotham that I... I mean, I usually watch it the same week, but sometimes I just binge watch it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, of course, the only other thing I have after that is Supernatural, but I, I only watch... That's it. only like two seasons long. Yeah, two, yeah Supernatural's only two seasons long. You can catch up in ten years. <laughs> I watched that show until I was like, yes, and no more. No more. You can... you can. It's, it's so good. I'm on, I'm I loved done. it until just, just until I got bored. I'm almost done with season eight. Are you... Are you, are you ahead of me now? Uh, How, is there angels and the angels became... Did the angel became? I'm probably way ahead of you. Is the angel became uh, super powerful? Yeah, I'm way past. And that, that was that, the that was season seven. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, Castiel I'm, I'm, became super and then, powerful and, and he, then died. Yeah, he has like the Babylons or whatever, and people. Yeah, they're whatever they're called. I forget. But yeah, they have. 
he t- he consumes them in his body, and then he they explode. They like, kill Explodes. him, and then he doesn't he explode or disappear or something like that. Yeah, he disappears basically. It, but yeah, he's yeah. I I watched that show and I was like, no more. I'm done. After that, I was like, I'm done. The only part that I get annoyed of is I'm going to hell. I'll come back. I'm no, going to hell again. That part. I'll does, back again. That part doesn't bother me. I get annoyed at the brothers fighting all the time. Like, God damn it, Dean. Why don't you trust me? Sam, you gotta watch out. Yeah. <laughs> I got the cult. Yeah. Where's the cult? Yeah. <laughs> they, haven't the cult? Up, they haven't brought up the cult. Like, I don't think that anybody has that. They, I mean, they still have the demon knife, but I, I don't remember. They haven't the brought cult up. kills anything in one shot, isn't it? Well, it was Leviathan. Leviathan or what was... what? Um, the Leviathan or these creatures... That Cassiel put in his body and he became super powerful. Well, then they escaped and then they wreak havoc all over. They kill a really big character um, in, in season seven. What, the uncle or the buddy or the yeah. father ish figure? Yeah, they, yeah. That's not that old part. Bobby. But he gets shot in the head, doesn't he? Yeah, but. Oopsie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. Spoiler alert. Well, if I've seen it. It's you know I've, it's been it's been out for quite some time. But yeah, like I I haven't I'm not obviously they're on season twelve now. Yeah, yeah I, haven't, I, haven't, then, I haven't seen it like in four years, so that sounds like I stopped at season eight or seven. Seven, or and then season eight is pretty good. Um, yeah, and then there's obviously I still have nine, ten, eleven, and twelve to watch. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, and then thirteen comes out. But you also watch Doctor Who a lot, don't you? I do watch Doctor Who. I love um, well. Yeah. Obviously, I'm caught up with that show, but um, I don't really watch. I mean, sometimes if I get the hankering to, I'll watch the old episodes. Mm-hmm. But really, I you just watch the new episodes. Yeah. Um, what we talk about? I think we talked about the specials every once in a while. When yeah, the out. the Christmas special that just came out was pretty good, and then in April the new season comes out. Which I mean, obviously, that show is more of like one of my main shows, like Agents of Shield, Game of Thrones, whatever mm-hmm. that I have to watch. Um, but yeah, it's, um, they announced this week. Well, get, well don't do that. Not we, yet. Don't, we don't open it on the newspaper. Yeah. Well, all right. Fair enough. Yeah. We Erase it. that, Lewis. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, do you have any other shows to talk about or do you want to go and tell them our news that we, not our news news, but like our next thing that we're I planning think, on doing? I think we're going to go. One of our new segments is, um... We're going to watch shows that the other person has watched, but we haven't. For example, I've never watched Black Sails, so I'm going to watch Black Sails. And once a month, we may, uh, you know, touch on the subjects and what do we think about his or her, his favorite show. I was going to say his or hers, but it's only his. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kyle is our producer, and he and she's not here right yeah. now, so. Fucking Kyle. Fucking Kyle. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to watch... Arrow and probably Flash because I haven't seen those shows. I mean, eventually I'll watch Mr. Robot, but I figure Arrow would be something out of my norm to watch because I'm not a huge DC fan. So I think it'd be nice. DC is a good. Th- uh, you need to get over your DC phobia ish and well, I get feel into like it. I'm it's a good show. Step They're, into that. And the comics are good. Uh, on our next episode, uh, one of our next episodes, we're going to talk about Civil War One versus Civil War Two. The comic. Uh, the comic should come out. It comes out you, on the fourteenth. You say you're gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it, and I'm gonna let you borrow it so you can read it. I have read both of them, and we're gonna have what our things and thoughts, but also compare it with. I'm gonna try to make a comparison against Injustice that is similar to Civil War, but is the DC version of it. And uh, you wanna add anything else? No, I mean the uh, next week we're gonna talk about the season finale of Vikings. With this, is it Civil War Two and Civil One War One Two? Because that, next week is so we're gonna t- and the next episode is gonna be our Super Bowl commercials, and after that is Valentine's Day that unfortunately falls on a Tuesday, so we won't be able to record that day, or our wives slash girlfriends will kill us. And after that is Civil War versus Civil Two War Two, and then compare those two comics against the Injustice comics. And then I think we can talk about. Um, and then Logan, Power t- Rangers, Guardians of the Galaxy is our name. Then we're gonna talk. Then we have one episode that we're gonna talk about the shows that we love that hold up but uh, not around anymore. So shows that are you could completely binge watch. There's you know there's yeah, our middle. top completed TV shows. So we're gonna be we're gonna talk about that too. Yeah. 
So we're gonna have good conversations coming up in the near future. And what do you, I saw that you went to the newsstand and bought the new Daily Bugle. Yeah, I got a new Daily Bugle. There's a uh, couple things. First off, there has been a few people posting pictures on Instagram for Infinity War. Um, James Gunn's brother posted a picture. And for those who don't know, he does the motion capture for Rocket. And he's also one of Michael Rooker's, what are the, the henchmen or whatever? Mm-hmm. Um, he's the, the guy behind him. And Guardians. And then also there's a girl who posted, I can't think of her name, but she's a new character in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And she posted a picture with a beanie on that said Infinity War also. So I'm pretty sure that solidifies the fact that Guardians is going to be an Infinity War. Also, and then they, I think I was gonna go into the back and Han Solo's movie just started recording. Talking Red about. Red Solo Cup is that, the, the secret name of the movie. Uh-huh. So, uh huh. So, what else is there? They named the new Star Wars movie the Last Jedi. Uh huh. It could be single or plural. Yeah. Plural. Nobody knows. Um, and then they also announced the cast for uh, Black Panther. Mm-hmm. And the cast that is in that movie is amazing. I mean, I don't know. They just have so many. I mean, they have obviously Chadwick Boseman who plays uh, Black Panther. Uh, my, Martin Freeman is in there. Everyone knows him. He played Bilbo. Um, Denai Guerrero, who mm-hmm. plays Michonne, is going to be in it. What's her? Uh, Lupe. Lupita. Something. Lupita. She's. People might remember her. She was in 12 Years a Slave. She won an Oscar for that she movie. Is she was a phenomenal actress. Yeah. So it, uh, all, it's, a good, it's a good cast. Yeah, it's a solid so cast. So many good people. And which, ironically, they're all filming at the same time in Atlanta, which Infinity War is being filmed in Atlanta. And Walking Dead. And Walking Dead. So, but Walking Dead's not filming right now. But, but yeah, but they, the, the ironic part is, is. They're filming right there together, so that means you know. Okay, so these people are going to probably be in Infinity War also. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Chadwick Boseman is going to be in there because Black Panther is going to be in that movie. Yeah, there's no denying that. Um, and the Doctor Who, I heard. And then, of course, big news. I, I mean, I'm not. I'm. I'm always excited for something new, but uh, Doctor Who. Uh, Peter Capaldi has announced that after season seven, they're not season, season ten. After so, it starts in April. The new season. And after this season, and so the last episode he will be in will be the Christmas special for this year. He is done. So the new Doctor, they'll probably be announced then. I just really hope it would be cool if they had one episode where Matt Smith came back. Mm -hmm. Their specifications for the Nintendo Switch are out too. So if you're looking, if you're one of those people who want to know the specs of Nintendo Switch are out, it's every day it looks even better. Uh, Gaming-wise... For Honor is gonna come out. It's coming out next in in, a, in next week. And it doesn't. You know, the beta is out right now, but it comes out in March. The actual game. Well, yeah, but so you can start playing For Honor. There's there's a lot of games that are gonna start popping up pretty soon. There seems like a fun, eh, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Square Enix case stated that they're gonna make a a couple of Avenger games. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So Square Enix has a good line of games. So hopefully they come out with. A, I really think it would be awesome if they had. Like a sandbox type Marvel game, that'd be so cool. Mm. Or if a RPG version would be neat, because well, mm. it'd be cool to like progress your character. Because I mean, if you look like Spider Man progress, well, there is there is uh, games that like that are big, uh, like City of Heroes. Even though anybody who plays City of Heroes knows that. So we'll see. Heroes has been done for a while. That game only losers play that game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know who we're talking to. I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> I love you. And so there's a good game. There's a lot of games coming out. I've been playing Titanfall too. It's been pretty fun. Just you know, have everybody you know give it a look and just follow us on Twitter. Yeah, follow us on Facebook. We're on Google Play and iTunes. And you can follow. And that's at Two Ordinary Nerds. Yep, Two Ordinary Nerds. iTunes, Facebook, Twitter. We should start an Instagram. We'll probably start an Instagram around Comic Con time. Mm-hmm. I think that's going to be our special Comic Con edition. Yep. So, cheers. Cheers. <laughs>